so you've just got your new model, you imported it in VTube Studio and it looks something completely weird is cuff like this. Like the tracking is not working at all, the mouth is completely open, the eyes look crazy and you've got no freaking idea where your special expressions are. I guess I can help you. <laughs> So in this video you will uh, see me working on the parameters here and I'll tell you how to set up everything perfectly for your model to work just fine. Before going into VTube Studio, I will actually sh show you how to grab your model folder and put it, put it where it should be to import it in your, uh, your VTube Studio app. So you have to locate your Steam folder, which usually is in your uh, E memory or C. It depends on where you put it. Once you got in your Steam, you have to find the Steam apps. Then from here you go to Common. Then you go to VTube Studio, VTube Studio Data, Streaming Assets. Love to the models, and you have to paste your folder here. If it looks something like this, so it's zipped, you have to right click and click extract here. Mine is in Italian, but yours might be in English. It just extract here. So you have a normal folder in here. Okay, so once you are inside of VTube Studio, uh, after you have imported your model, just as I showed you earlier, you double click to open the menu. Okay, you click here to show all of your models. We can grab the model. There is no icon right now, but we can add it later. Click on it. The first time that you open your model, it would ask you to run the auto setup. Um, this depends if you got iPhone webcam or Android. Just choose the one that suits you the best. Okay. Okay, it's already done. Okay, so first of all, you want to click on uh, the little settings icon. Uh, if your model is not moving like mine is doing, make sure that you uh, click on here. I cannot show you mine, but click on this button and check the IP that you have here. Then you can block this. Check on your iPhone, iPad or Android if you have the same IP number, if not, change it. And it should work. Now, these are the model settings, which are the ones that we work, want to work on. Usually, I deactivate this one because this makes your model move a lot up, down, to the sides. Um, I usually deactivate this one, especially if I am working, um, maybe I am drawing and I don't want my model to suddenly jump in front of my drawing. Uh, so if you deactivate your model, it will be more still. But if you're maybe just chatting, you want this one to be activated, so it's your choice. Then I jump straight in into... Uh, where is it? Face lane rotation. This is this motion. When you bring your uh, ear to your shoulder, let's say like this. So what I usually do is um, make this range smaller. Smaller. <laughs> so basically the input is your real life movement and the output is the 2D model movement. Usually when I set up my new models, I work on the input and not on the output. Because the output is what your rigger did, you don't want to change that. You want to change the way that the, hap the VTube Studio sees your face and you do it by changing the input uh, values. So, by decreasing this one, lagging a little bit, uh, <laughs> I might have to close YouTube. Okay. Um, okay, it's better. It, uh, by making this range smaller, it's like we are making the movement more effective because we need to make a smaller real-life movement for the PC to in 
to understand and translate this movement into the model. I know this is a hard concept, but I think I can show you a little bit better, maybe with brow height. So this is how much my eyebrows move right now. This is the lowest that I can put them. And this is the highest that I can put them, right? The highest that I can ever do that. If I make this range smaller, look is going more down. My face movement is the same. The input that I give it is the same, but the translation on the model is amplified. So if I make this range smaller, my output will be amplified. Let's make it back to normal. So you may have noticed that my eyes are wide open. So right now I am keeping my real life eyes in a normal open state. Instead, the model is going into the pog mode. <laughs> So, how to fix that? Um, Alright, let's go here. Okay. So, if your eyes are too open, you want to grab this one and make it bigger. Basically, this top number is your widest open value and the bottom, no bottom number is the closed eye. If we increase this one, the uh, VTube Studio will understand that it needs... my eyes needs to open more. My real life eye needs to open more to be wide open. So if it's one, it's too open, right? Look, I'm not gonna close my eyes to show you. Look at it. Look how now, now it's normal. What I'm telling to the program is that one is not my wide open. Instead, you have to go further. 1.5 is my wide open. You see, it's still working. But when I have my eyes normal in real life, the model size is normal as well. Look at the other one that I haven't changed yet. It's wide open, right? I know this might be, might be a little bit hard to understand, but this is the rule in general. If your eye looks too open that it should, then increase this one. If it looks too close that it should, then decrease it, right? Let's change it to the other eye as well. If I manage to find <laughs> 1.5, right? Okay, looking good. For the mouth, I have another tip for you. Um, because what many times happens is that when you have your mouth closed, the model still keeps it open. Okay, what we can do to fix that is to check this number here. So close your mouth and look at this number. See, when my mouth is open, I get 0 0.08. So the, the, the program thinks that my mo closed mouth is 0. Instead, it's 0 0.08. 08. You see, it has worked. Right now, when I close my mouth, the model closes its mouth. For the same thing, uh, if you open your mouth, maybe a little bit, like this, and the model keeps the mouth closed, you can increase, you can decrease this one. In general, you can use this number as a reference, right? You can use it for the wide open as well. I open my mouth at uh, the widest. Okay, I can lower this one a little bit. And it's working better. Another very nice tip <laughs> that is not actually um, 
something technical, but it's something cool that I think you can do it. This, uh, this is like a little extra. Uh, so you can add this um, thing, basically look for smile, mouth smile, and blush. What this does is that it makes you blush when you smile, isn't that cute? So, I think this is too much blush, so I can decrease this one. This is what I always do, so you can copy the same numbers for this one. So, I decrease this one so that my maximum blush is 0 0.5. Then I decrease this one. I was joking, I increased too. So that with my normal face I have no blush. If I smile like blush, it's very cute, isn't it? Okay, so this is already a very nice starting setup for uh, your model. Um, what we can also do now is to import your special expressions. What you do is come here, click this one to add the new special expression. Hotkey action, set on set expression. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can do with these things. Right, but I'm just gonna show you expressions for this tutorial. Set on set expressions. Click here, select expression, select the expression that you want. One random one is, uh, I don't know, it's a mark. Record your key. Click this one. And it should not work. Hmm. You see? And you can change the name here. And you have to do it for all of your other expressions. Same thing. Set and set expression. Set your expression. Set the key. And it's always the same thing, right? Okay. Fine. I think this was... Uh, Basically what I do every time I test out a new model when I finish making them. Uh, so with these tips you should be able to set up your model basically to work at its best. Uh, re I mean remember if you have iPhone tracking, so with the true depth tracking, it's probably and definitely gonna look better than the um, camera tracking. Uh, and the Android tracking, but it's with, with these little tricks you can make it work better. Remember, if you make the range smaller, the output is gonna be increased. So you can use uh, what you learned in, in this video to increase and improve uh, the reaction and the output uh, and in general how your model looks. I hope that this uh, tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, leave a like and a comment um, if you liked it and if you have any problem feel free to ask me questions in the comment section uh, I am very happy to answer uh, I mean at my best <laughs> I will try to at least um, and yeah <laughs> I'll see you in the next one bye bye bye